In this week's podcast, our host will be sharing their all-time favorite movies to watch, from romance and comedy to drama in every genre in between as well as binge-worthy series they enjoy watching for hours on end. Here we go. Hey guys, CJ here and do I have the recommendations for you. My all-time favorite movies happen to be fantasies. I'm not gonna lie, all the movies I watch are fantasies. Harry Potter, the best fantasy movie and book besides The Lord of the Rings. Ooh, ooh, and how can I forget, Fantastic Beast? Oh my soul. These movies are so out of this world, it is mind-blowing. It has your imagination running wild with possibilities. And now for my top three bing worthy series. Grey's Anatomy. I, above all, recommend this. The drama is so good, it has you sitting on the edge of your seat with a box of tissues. Yeah, it makes you weepy. Then there is Vampire Diaries, another fantasy slash drama slash romance. It's really good. And now for Criminal Minds. This series has you thinking a lot. There's not much I can say about it because I won't be able to do it justice. So let me just say this. Grab your popcorn, get real comfortable because it is one heck of a roller coaster. Yo, 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 guys, what is up? What's the haps? What's poppin'? It's a corner from 96 over here and we're back with another one. So I'm an animated movies kind of person, you know. I like Disney. Pixar, DreamWorks, Warner Bros, Blue Sky, Cartoon Network, um, Illumination, etc, etc. You know, bring me a movie or a series from any of those companies and I'm definitely in it. I'm, I'm watching that. But if I'm not watching animations, I'm watching documentaries and true stories and medical stuff. Like, Only the Brave, The Conjuring, Look at Me, Titanic, um, Lion, and other movies and my top three binge worthy series are lucifer uh blackish and stranger things and i cannot stress enough why these are so good and educational you know i like reality i like things that i can relate to i like things that teach me i like things i can learn lessons from you know i like learning you know it's a big part of my life and basically all these movies and series really gave me something to think about I've learned and continue to learn so much from them and I copy that knowledge from the films into my everyday life so a billion out of 10 would recommend hey guys Lolita MG here guys I want to be honest with you I am NOT a serious type at all I just get bored but I will be sharing my three my all-time three favorite movies the following the first one is the parent trap the second one is Enola, and the last one is 10 Things I Hate About You. Three series that I would recommend are, the first one is Stranger Things, the second one Umbrella Academy, and the third one is The Vampire Diaries. <laughs> In the three movies that I listed down, those are my favorites, the one that I choose is Enola. And Nola teaches you that in life, there's always more than one choice. We are always a fault for the choices we make and you are always greater than you think. For example, when Onola defies a brother when looking for their mother and decides to take matters into her hands as she could see her brother was leading nowhere. So guys, please take Please watch Enola. I promise you, you won't go wrong. No, you won't regret yourself. Thank you. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. You guessed right. That is a quote out of the famous movie, The Godfather. You guys are back with your very own movie lover. I could watch some of my favorite movies several times and still not get bored. I'm sure our listeners can relate. I am an absolute fan of just about everything. Fantasy, romance, action, 
you name it. But if I were to give my top three all-time favorites, it would be Avengers, The End Game, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and lastly, Stab 8. And then of course, any movie lover appreciates a good binge-worthy series. A few that I can really recommend is Bridgerton, The Walking Dead, and Stranger Things. I mean, these are probably the most popular amongst us millennials. It teaches us that life isn't always sunshine and roses, that's for sure. But it also teaches us about having willpower and determination. Trust me, these series will keep you glued to your screens. Hi guys, it's Faith. Hope you're having an amazing day. My all-time three favorite movies include The In-Between, Purple Hearts and Acrimony. If a movie doesn't make you laugh hysterically or cry, the movie is not good. These three movies will make you feel something and that is why I love them. The three favorite binge-worthy series include The Summer I Turned Pretty, First Kill and Heartstopper. These these series help you escape your reality, forget all your problems and they will make you smile. Hope you try them out. Bye! Hi guys, my name is Amy here from Grade 12 E5. Today I'll be talking about my favorite series and movies to watch. Watching movies and binge watching series has to be one of my favorite things to do. So, my all time favorite movies are Really Love because it portrays black love in such a beautiful and a very delicate way with no violence or hardships as it has always been portrayed in other movies. Secondly would be Clueless because it's a classic, I mean come on. And the third one would be Despicable Me because it's a very funny and family friendly movie. Now onto my top three binge worthy series. Like the first one would be friends because you really get to see the importance of healthy friendships and friends that will go to the ends of the world for you. And secondly would be good girls because it shows the impact that crime has on people's lives. And last but not least, definitely not least, would be Vampire Diaries because I mean come on, everyone loves a good supernatural show that gets to twist reality and you just get to think do vampires really exist right so i hope you guys do check these out and enjoy them as much as i did bye it's a wrap guys i hope you have enjoyed our fun filled podcast on our all-time favorite movies and binge worthy series catch us next week on our podcast on subject choice advice to our grade nine learners be blessed and stay happy